Hey folks, I have not done a YouTube video since last May, although I think I did do them on vaccines in December sometime. Didn't really expect to be doing them again in February, but here we are. I'm a little alarmed about the number of new cases today. It's, it's over 1,200, and that's three days or more of going above 1,000. Um, I think that's the variance. There's no proof of that yet, uh, but we are going in the wrong direction. We have a couple of months before we all have access to a vaccine. The Guelph Wellington Public Health Unit is very prepared and getting more prepared to provide you with uh, a location where you can get the vaccine. Uh, but I wanted to sort of give some advice about what to do for the next couple of months before we start the mass vaccinations for everyone. As you probably know, people over 80 uh, can now register online at the Wellington Dufferin Public Health Unit website. Uh, there's a whole list there of other folks that can now register to make an appointment to get a vaccine. You won't get a vaccine right away. You'll have an appointment for a vaccine. We still need to wait until the vaccines arrive and they are arriving by the millions starting in March, maybe mid-March into April, but they're coming. Let's get ready for them. Before then, it's really important that we all wear masks. This is the best way and maybe the only way right now to combat the COVID-19 variants. So I wanted to review a mask. I've asked my friend Teresa Paul at Hides and Hands to create a new mask that I can promote. Again, I'm not making anything from the sale of these masks. This is just me looking for a place that can make a good quality mask. Um, if you can purchase a mask like this or one of these masks, it's a very high quality two layer mask with a layer of polypropylene that's now sewn in. And the key is the layer of polypropylene. It needs to be a three layer mask. So here I am with one of the new three layer masks made by Hides and Hands in Rockwood. Love the design. So sewn in here is a layer of polypropylene, which makes it two layers of high quality cotton and an inside sewn in layer of polypropylene. Remember, by a well-fitting mask, there are different sizes. There are also toggles that you can put on the ear pieces, ear loops, so that they fit behind the ears, but they need to fit. So here we go. Put your mask on behind one ear, right over the nose, behind the other ear. This one I need to tighten up and I'll do that using the toggles that I've also received. You want to make sure that it's covering your nose. It's going from ear to ear, covering my chin. All you can see are my eyes. And it will be, when I adjust it, tight fitting. Wear that whenever you're going outside. Wear that when you're ever going into public spaces, especially now that we can sit in restaurants. Uh, and if it gets wet, make sure that you're taking it off and putting a second one on. When we're walking outside, condensation makes these masks wet, so I carry two with me. When you get home, you take the masks off, uh, mask off again by removing the ear loops like this and dropping it into hot soapy water. You cannot put this mask in the dryer. You can put it in the washer, but it will likely shrink with water that's too hot, but the polypropylene will not tolerate the dryer. So I just put it into hot soapy water at night. My sink's right over there. Uh, and I let it sit for 20 minutes in that hot soapy water, jig it around a few times, take it out, give it a good ring, and then hang it to dry. These dry really quickly. I have about three or four on the go at a time. There's always one in my purse, there's always one in my car, and I carry a second one when I'm out walking. You don't have to wear this mask while you're walking if no one is around you. You can be without a mask, but we don't know too much about these variants, so what I would recommend is you carry the mask with you, and if someone is approaching you that's not in your bubble, put the mask on. I tend to wear the mask on one ear when I'm outside, just so that I can quickly flip it on, Recently, I've been wearing it because it's warm. It's like a scarf. Uh, but when I'm walking really fast, um, it, it, gets, it, it interferes with my breathing. So I do take it off and let it hang on one ear. I think if we all wear these masks, it's all about the masks until it becomes all about the vaccines. But I think if we all wear these masks wherever we go, we're not going to transmit the variants and we're not going to pick up the variants. And then we can keep our numbers low until we move into the time where there's a vaccine. 
Next YouTube video, which I hope to do this weekend, is all about the questions you have about vaccines. When will my turn? When will it be my turn to be vaccinated? Uh, how will I know when it's time to be vaccinated? Most of us will be in mass vaccination clinics that are due to start maybe in a couple of months when the vaccines are more widespread. Uh, and you'll know uh, by the media and by looking on the public health website when it's your turn to register. Right now, it's for people who are over 80. And look on the website, you'll find out which, who other, who else is involved in this first sign up for the vaccines. Everybody should get vaccinated. The only reason not to uh, is if you have an allergy to polyethylene glycol, PEG. That's one of the ingredients in the vaccine. It's very rare, very rare to have an allergic reaction to any other ingredient. Look online, look up the ingredients for the Moderna and Pfizer vaccine. If you're not allergic, you can get a vaccine. If you have chronic illnesses, you can get a vaccine. If you're immune compromised or you on drugs that make you immune compromised, you can get a vaccine. If you have chronic illnesses, get a vaccine. If you're pregnant, you can get a vaccine. If you're on prednisone, more than 20 milligrams a day, the vaccine might not work as well on you. And if you're on medications that for, for something like rheumatoid arthritis that dampen down your immune system, talk to your physician first about whether or not you should go off these medications before you get vaccinated. Most of us can line up in the queue and get a vaccine without any documentation, but there are some people with illnesses who probably should check it out with their physician or their primary care provider before they attend the clinic uh, so that the person giving you the vaccine is not concerned. So again, the only reason not to get the vaccine, of course, if you pre had a, an allergic reaction to the first vaccine, so you've been on the first and you're going on to the second, don't get the second. If you are allergic to PEG or any of the other ingredients, and if you're in a high group for any other reason, you can still get the vaccine, but just check it out with your primary care provider first. Uh, other questions that are in here. Yes, if you decide to wait uh, when it's your turn to be vaccinated, you can wait, just register later. Uh, how do you know the vaccine's safe? I'll do this more in, a, in an upcoming video. But the vaccine, it, scientifically, it is safe. Uh, I attended a meeting with a thousand other doctors in the Ontario Medical Association a few weeks ago, top experts in almost all fields of medicine, and we all agree that based on the science, this is a safe vaccine with very rare serious side effects. It's a very effective vaccine, and it may be effective after even the first dose. We'll wait and see. It's, in, it's administered like other vaccines are administered. Uh, and some people are having mild side effects for the first three days after a vaccine. That's usually pain and swelling at the site of the injection, low-grade fever, muscle aches and pains, maybe for a few days. Other people are getting away without having any uh, complications or side effects at all. Uh, long-term side effects, we're not sure, but most vaccines that are made this well do not have long-term side effects that we need to worry about. Um, anyway, lots of questions out there, which I'll try to answer because this is coming up on 10 minutes and you're probably getting bored. But thank you for listening. And again, put that mask on. If we all wear a three-layer mask, this is from Hides and Hands in Rockwood. You can look them up online. With a layer of polypropylene, we will get through this until the vaccines are available. Ciao, everybody.